Yeah. He's a music man. He's a what? He's a what? He's a music man. And he sells clarinets to the kids in the town with a big trombone and the fatty tap drum and the big brass face, big brass face. And the piccolo, the piccolo uniform too, with the shiny gold braid on the coat and the big red stripe, brother. Well, I don't know much about band, but I do know you can't make a living selling a big trombone. No, sir. Mandolin picks, perhaps, and here and there a juice bar. No, but those no band. Boys, man. I don't know how he does it, but he lives like a king. And he yells, and he gathers, and he fucks, and he shines. And when the band dances, certainly, boys, what else? The piper pays him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When the band dances, certainly, boys, what else? The piper pays him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But he doesn't know the territory.
They're not expect you to be seeing the person in charge of an iron rig. Who is late again as usual. <clears throat> Marcellus, you old son of a guy, what in the... The great... Maybe Professor Hill, oh. Harold Hill. The great, what you doing here? Why don't you let me know you was coming? I didn't know I was coming myself. Besides, how do I know you'd end up in a little tank town like this one anyway? You were a pretty big slicker when you were visiting with me. Uh, too many cliches the way you were, Greg. Besides, I got me a nice comfortable girl now. Ethel Kaufmeyer, boss of me. So I'm legitimate, huh? I knew that you'd come to no good. Uh, so, what's the new pitch? You're not back in the band business, are you? I heard you was a team on you. I was. What happened? Somebody actually invented one. No. Well, give me the lowdown, Mark. Uh, you'll never get anywhere in the band business if you serve an island, Greg. Besides, we got to suck up music teacher here with Bojo for you to grip on that. Male or female? Music teacher? Now she's librarian, she's female. That's just what I want to do. Next time she goes by, put her out. I will. So, how are you going to try to do it? Thank you, That music teacher off balance can get you down out of the serious trouble that it is in. So we risk it even in any trouble. Then I'll have to create some. I'll have to create a separate need for a boy's band. What's new around here? What can I use? Ah, nothing. The billiard parlor is the new pool table. <coughs> Never had a pool table here before? Nope, only billiard. <laughs> That'll do. Remember, music teacher. Ah, you must be Mr. Dunham. Yep. I think you're closing your eyes to a situation you do not wish to acknowledge. You are not aware of the caliber of disaster indicated by the presence of a pool table in your community. Well, you got trouble, my friend. <laughs> right here, they trouble right here in River City. Why, sure, from the very place. Come on, I'm trying to say what you might try to say. I consider that the hours I spend with a cure of mine and are filled. Have to kill the great horseman with a cool hand and a keen eye. Do you ever think of trying to give an ironclad lead to yourself from a three rail third shot? Well, just as I say, they judgment, brain, the maturity, score, and a ball flying game. I say that any fool can take and shove them all in their pocket. And I call that sloppy. First, they step on the road to the death, and the day for day, they first. But it's no one from any good, and fear from a lot of good. And the next you know your son is playing for money in a big spectrum. And you just some big, out of town chance. You're tell about four streets, yeah. Not a wholesome cry place, no, but a race where they sit down and ride on the horn. Oh, oh, oh. Like a piece of stuck up jockey boy, step on band, pack, make your blood boil. Well, I should say. Now, friends, let me tell you what I mean. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, two pockets in the table, two pockets that mark the difference between a gentleman and a boat. You got no fee that one with the fee that's in the And all week long, you rivers to you and you're here in the way. If you're young, that'll be fruitery. Turn away their new hands, up with that short time too. Get the ball in the pocket, never mind getting gay like a cold as a tree or a patch for the beast they counted in. Never mind puppet and you want to hear your parents are a left hand sister and nephew or son and they don't have trouble. They'll be lots in one of the trouble. Things they can't do the next time. Your shirt's a devil. Dig it in the pool, home and after school and have trouble. Folks right here in your city. Trouble with a capital C and that rhymes with C and that stands for school. Why, no, are you folks with the right kind of hair? I'm gonna be perfectly frank. You'd like to know what kind of time of day she goes on with the little girl around that all day. Trying out feet, trying out shoes, trying out tail remains like cigarette feet. Bragging all about how they're gonna cover up a telltale breath with scent. And one by one, they leave the pool while heading for the dance at the yard. Liberty, man, scar, women, and crap. Transfer son, your dark the arms of a jungle animal instinct. Master, your fairly idle brain is a devil's playground to run. Oh, yeah, no. Watch for the telltale signs of corruption. The moment your son leaves the house, does he rebook?
chemical is major vodka below the knee? Is there a nicotine stain on his index finger? A dime novel hidden in the corn crib? Is he starting to remember a joke that a Captain Billy wind bag? Or certain words creeping into his vocabulary. Words like swell, who's your old man? Let's so my friend.
If you don't mind my saying so, it wouldn't have hurt you to bring out what it is that we wanted. I know what the dead is wanted. What, dear? You'll find it in all that. Well, excuse me for living, but I never read it. <laughs> Neither has anyone else in this town. There you go again with that same old comment about the low mentality of the men of the city girl and taking it all too much to heart. Now, Mama, as long as the Madison Public Library was in front of me, for the purpose of improving River City cultural level, I can't help my concern that the links of River City keep ignoring all my humble and advice. But darling, when a woman got a husband and you got none, why should he take his place from you? Even if you can't go to all the tricks and all the better I believe
very grateful to my wife, Yuleli Mikakichin, for leading the team. And the JC Squire for his fine stereo fiction slides. And you at the top of my are fine player piano player player piano. Four score and seven. Four score and seven. Members of the school board will now present the Patriot Capital. Oh, the members of the school board will not present the Patriot Capital. Some disagreement about costumes, I suppose. Instead, the members of the local wigwam of Hiawatha will present the spectacle. My wife! <laughs> oh, and, 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 and which is my wife? You may need to take the chair. Take the lead. Oh 
Oh, what was my second mistake? That Danita, she's the miracle of the girl. <laughs> hey, uh, just a minute, Professor. We're up on the school board. We'd like to see your credentials. Academic certificate. Duck up time. Letters and papers. They can put up a box. What is this? Am I here? But they don't sing, young man. It's off with your down here. Ice cream. Off the snow. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ladies, from now on, you'll never see one of these men without the other two. You're wrong, Professor. They hated each other for 15 years. Ice cream. Ice cream, ice cream. I'll have Mary, Mary, Wave the brakeman's hand on the last train heading out of town. 
I certainly might boil a wide red stripe down each side. What do you think of that? You'll have to excuse the boy. We couldn't get him to say three words a day even talk. It isn't a sign of bound. But I've seen Michael's so away with you. But I bet if anyone can, you can. I pick you out of a crowd to be a hot caddy and they pipe smoking and shamble up where an Irish man. He calls him the devil and plenty of friendly boy. Gary Indiana. I knew it, Gary. Gary Indiana. In fact, Gary Conservatory was my alma mater. <laughs> How to do, Miss Peru? How do you do, Mr. Hill? Peru. I thought the name sounded familiar. I'm trying to get a hold of this the other day. He wants to put Winthrop in the pen. We're not interested, Mom. But yeah, the The boy might have a father or two to do a gift. His father's a musical. Well, I'll have to have a talk with him. I'm sure. on everyone's home like this, prying into personal affairs. We're not interested. Yes. That's one for and one against. Why not let the boy's father decide? The boy's father is dead. Anything else? No, I'm sorry, but that's every one of the reasons why the boy should have something. My brother is a ten-year-old problem child. We can't understand why his father was taken away from him. Would you hear him explain it to him? He's been brooding about it for two years. I feel you. Why don't you go into business with the carnival man who sells gold painted watches and black diamond dreams? It was a good trick. This is who I ever think of. Thank you. 
Animals have a limited feel, you know. Oh no, I missed my train, I'll lose my job. And I gotta leave work. Leave work with me. Not on your tin time. How do I know you'll deliver the letters? Try me. <laughs> There's your train now, don't catch it. Why, you double dealing little. Who do you think you're trying to test? That guy's got a gallon every county in Illinois. He's taking away from every one of them. That's 102 counties. Not including a piano teacher who coaches up and keeps his mouth shut. Neither one of you has seen the last of me, girly girl. Take it easily, be 
nearly turned back. And suppose I'm not the first to find it easier to think than not under the spell of your salesman. <coughs> Mary and Julie surely don't think that I've been trying to sell you anything. No, of course not. You've given me something. That's why I decided to come.
the Indiana Journal. It was originally going to be used against me, but now I give it to you with all my heart. But if you knew, then why didn't you? <laughs> why you Thank you. 
you're wasting a great deal of our time here. If anyone does not think that Professor Harold Hill should be tarred and feathered, let them stand down.
group. And there's some people that need to be thanked, and that is Mr. Jim Phillips, our orchestra conductor. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 